Awesome guys, bag old video. So it's been an entire month since my last upload and at this point that any of us are surprised. Considering it's December and for those that don't know, December is the highest paid month for all YouTubers out there. Literally, it is the time to upload every single day. So you're probably thinking, why the hell have you been uploading? But to be honest, I've been doing this TikTok related content for maybe the past year now, maybe like 11, 12 months, something around that. And it's sort of getting a bit stale and similar. So I thought I needed a break because it was getting very stale. You can clearly tell from the title of this video it is not tiktok related in the slice but i thought you know what let's switch up the content and just see how it goes down since i've ghosted off youtube a lot has happened within the youtube space mainly of course involving the paul brothers as most of you i'm guessing would know jake paul in his most recent boxing match completely slaughtered nate robinson with probably the most vicious knockout i've seen in a while the amount of memes that came from that knockout itself were crazy the instant literally folded in half and what's mental, the headline for that card was, of course, Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. But the limelight stolen from the entire show was the Jake Paul fight. As soon as the fight was over, the internet went completely berserk. And there were so many different YouTubers and celebrity reactions to the fight itself. All I got to say is you will never, ever do that to me. You're lucky you won tonight. Now you get to face daddy. Yep. Think about it. Take a second. Think about it. Hey, I ain't gonna talk wild shit. I swear to God, I knew Jake was gonna beat the shit out of this nigga. I don't know why, bro. I swear to God, yo, Jake. My nigga. Aight, but what if Roy Jones just knock out Tyson? Yo, it's over. I told y'all Jake had it. He just lost $250. I just won $2,200. This one's over, baby. Oh! At the end of the day, you have to just respect the guy for what he's done. I don't understand the blind hate. Like, I understand the guy's really cringy. But the fact that he pulled this off in one of the biggest boxing events in history is crazy. Oh, my God. It's over. It's fucking over. Is he dead? It's is he over. Dead? I think he's dead. Oh, my God. It's fucking over. It's all over. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Let's go, Nate. Let's get tonight. Let's go. Well, medical attention now. Being administered, and this is again why you, you know, you wonder if these celebrity type matchups is really. To be honest, everyone predicted that Jake Paul was going to win the fight. It was clear from the start. Nate Robertson apparently didn't even spot in his training. Like, he stood no chance at all. It was just a fashion of the knockout. It was completely devastating. Although, the main problem with the fight itself, the ref should have stopped in the first round. Fucking night. Proud is an understatement. Uh, Jake once again exceeded expectations. Y'all can continue to not believe in this kid, but he's going to continue to prove you wrong. He is an absolute legend. He solidified his legacy tonight, and it's just getting started. That's the scariest part about this whole thing. Jake, I'm so fucking proud of you. As an older brother, it's so cool to see the person you love most in your life uh, achieving his goals because he works his fucking ass off. I said on my podcast, I do not care how uh, professional of an athlete you are. I don't care how many street fights you've had, how many NBA games you've had. Boxing is a different game. You can't just step into the sport and call yourself a boxer. Speaking of Logan Paul, somehow this universe paralleled together to make him versus Floyd Mayweather a reality. I think the simulation is completely glitched. In 2020, it seems the impossible is now being made possible. We're really seeing the rise of the pools come among us. What's mad, I was expecting this fight to happen maybe like summertime, maybe pushing winter time next year. It's literally only two months away, February 20th, and you already know the bag is gonna be disgusting. Talking about a disgusting bag, if you're this far into the video and you're still not, Join in loafers, what are you doing? Smash that red button. Once Mayweather officially announced the fight to his Instagram, Logan actually filmed his raw reaction and it is pretty sick to see. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh shit. my God. Holy <laughs> shit. Holy fucking shit. I'm fighting the best fighter on the planet. This is insane, bro. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is crazy, bro. Been, been blessed with a, a, an opportunity that few people have gotten. 
ever. It's time to make history. It's fucking time, bro. <laughs> yeah. Congrats to Logan for securing the fight. I have no clue how he's done it, but that is easily the biggest double of his entire career. And what is good to see, when it was announced, KSI actually tweeted to Logan fair play and even spoke about saying how he wants Logan Paul to win the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, I want Logan to win. <laughs> I know, right? What? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> I will always, till I die, be team YouTube, man. I will always support my fellow YouTuber. If it's a YouTuber versus a mainstream done, I'm always going to go for the YouTuber. I want Logan to win. If Logan beats Mayweather, holy shit. <laughs> That would literally destroy the internet. <laughs> You'd love to see that from Mr. Olatunji, but back to Jake Paul, the crazy bugger that he is. Of course, if you're in his shoes, you've just done one of the most devastating knockouts for a long time, or literally one of the biggest pay-per-view events in all of boxing. Of course, your ego's gonna go to a new level. And being with Jake Paul, his ego's already off the bloody scales. Now it's just gone too far. Because something a few days ago that happened again from Jake Paul that folded the internet in half and went completely berserk was his call-out video to none other than Conor McGregor. What the fuck is up, you Irish? Good morning, Conor McGregor. I know you're probably beating up old dudes in a bar right now, or maybe you're jacking off because you're sick of your wife. I mean, she's a four, Conor. You could do a lot better, but happy Monday. My team sent you a $50 million offer this morning. $50 million cash, proof of funds, the biggest fight offer you've ever been offered, but you're scared to fight me, Connor. You're ducking me because you don't want to lose to a YouTuber. You're 0-1 as a boxer. I'm 2-0 and as a boxer. I just came off the eighth biggest pay-per-view event in history, but you want to fight Dustin Prober, who has less followers on Instagram than my dog. That's a fact. And Dana White, you're a you ugly, bald, you said there's zero percent chance of this fight happening, but there's zero percent chance of you getting some. F Connor, you're scared. Dana, you're scared. Sign the f contract, you idiots. Jesus f Christ. Irish. When this video initially came out, me and I can say safely, the entire internet were caught off guard. He didn't just do like a usual call out video saying, "Oh yeah, you're a bitch." He literally called out his wife, saying that Conor McGregor's wife is a fool, called him the biggest bitch in Ireland. He went crazy. All of the comments underneath the video were saying stuff like, dude knocked out Nate Robinson and now he thinks he's Mike Tyson. Someone please take his money and break his face. Someone else said, Jay Paul's drunk and coked out of his mind. And it is pretty obvious, he probably had a few whiskey shots, maybe a few proper 12, because he seems to be a big Conor McGregor fan. He's wearing the exact same glasses and he's trying to get a beard. He's literally trying to be a clone of Conor McGregor, and obviously he's done a couple of lines to boost himself up, be a bit excited, and call out arguably, probably the biggest striker in MMA's history. The fact he states, I'm 2-0 as a boxer, you're 0-1, when his 2-0 is none other than Big Gibber, no offense lad, you took a fat L there, and Nate Robinson, whereas Conor McGregor's only boxing match was against the best boxer of all time. Both Mike Majowski and Logan Paul, when all this situation was going down, because fair play to Jake, he literally went trending on every social media platform, every mainstream media was talking about the Jake Paul, Conor McGregor, called out video and their apparent fight that may end up happening, where Mike and Logan reacted to the whole situation on one of his Twitch streams. What if Conor, for real, Real life. This is the guy who threw a dolly through a fucking van. What if he pulls up on Jake in real life type shit? Bro, that, then it's not funny anymore. That is what I opened this segment with. Mm. And but, dude, it don't have to be Connor. It could be Nate, the Diaz brothers too. Let te pull, please play that situation oh, no. out for me of what it looks like when Nate plus seven. I will say this. Or plus six rolls up to Jake, John Marion, and before you say this, before you say this, and Real kill stuff. Jasper. It would not surprise me in the slides if Conor McGregor or probably some of his goons just pull up on Jake Paul, make him look like a complete idiot, because the way he's talking is completely reckless for a guy that's only had two pro fights in his bloody career. As you guys know, on my channel, I like to give the most active guys a shout outs, whether you're a Jake Paul or not, and like, you know what? Just give me a shout out. All you gotta do is be active in the channel, whether that's constantly liking, con subscribing, all different videos, and today shall got someone called Sweevix FN. Thank you so much for the channel, much be appreciated. Anyway, guys, I've had a video. I hope you did enjoy, and I'm interested. Let me know in the comments down below what are your honest thoughts on this Jake Paul Conor McGregor beef, if you can even call it that. 
Do you think the fight should happen or do you think no, Connor, don't waste your time or focus on the 155 lightweight division, become the undisputed champion of the division once again, now Khabib's out of the picture. But as always, for hashtag loafers in the comments, follow up my social media, Instagram at LoveTube, same as Twitter. If you did enjoy, please do drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.